This is a video about how to properly handle cattle and how to handle them without hurting yourself or them. This video will teach you how to handle cattle when you have to vaccinate, deworm, or medicate the animals and make them feel like they are in a safe and controlled environment. The first thing we need to know about cattle is that cattle's eyes are on the sides of their head. As you can tell, they're not on the very front like ours. This is called peripheral vision. So when cows have peripheral vision, as they always do, they can only see everything from beside them to behind them. But however, they cannot see directly in front of them or directly behind them. So what I would like to show you is this triangle represents a safe zone. So their head is at the very top of the triangle according to their eyes and it goes out like the triangle and that is how cattle are able to see. Now, with working cattle, cattle understand gates and buckets. That is one thing that cattle have always been able to understand. Buckets have feet in them and gates show them where to go. Whatever is closed and whatever is open, that's how cattle know where to go. That's how their mind reads and that's how they think. So, as you can tell, this is a picture of a stock barn. Stock barns are full of panels and gates. This shows the cattle where to go and when to go. When a gate is closed, they stay in the pen. When a gate is open, they go through. This is how we work cattle any time that we're trying to do anything with them, like I mentioned before, because they are able to understand them and it makes more sense to them. They also feel safe as they're being worked and that is our utmost importance. So this facility is a 180 degree, degree angle shape that leads into an alleyway. So what this is used for, this is called the 180 degree shape, is called a sweep tub. You are able to bring cattle or calves or bulls through this front gate. That gate goes, will push against them with manually all the way through until the cattle are in a straight line. Once they get past this 180 degree shape, going through this red alleyway that red all those red panels are what we would consider an alleyway once they get past the alleyway the alleyway will lead to a squeeze chute which is what the animal is in when they are they are in a facility and by themselves and that allows them to be safe and for us to be safe as well we are able to work on them in a squeeze chute without getting hurt in them as well. And that is the utmost importance again. So this concept of this facility is 